We're live, Mandy. We're live. We're live. Holy cow, we're live. This is a little bit colder than yesterday. It's okay. I'm ready. It's okay. We're ready. We're, we're gloved up. We're at by the Queen Anne's County Waterman's Association we're there. Crab Basket. We're right there. So, Mandy, how excited are you for the Crab Basket tree? It's going to be great. It's gonna, it is going to be great. We're out of here for the live lighting. We're going to have a great time tonight. We're meeting all the people that helped build the tree. First, the first. Yeah, the, yeah they're the first ever crab basket lighting. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to meet people that helped set up the tree. We're going to talk to people who helped donate. Oh, yeah, we're going through. You know, who cares? We're going through the speaker. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and we're going to talk to a couple other people. We have some commissioners out here. We have Heather Tonelli from the, for the, let's talk about the, the, um, the shopping trail that's going on. Oh, we yeah. Also the have Linda Friday. We're going to talk. Yeah. So we have lots of people we want to talk to. So first, we're going to try to grab Heather Tonelli. Can you find her for me? You know where she's at. She's in the white coat. In the white coat. Heather the Tinelli. fuzzy coat. We'll find her. Come on in, Heather. There you go. Right here. Here she comes. You You're the first guest. I am. Of the, the live guest. show for the Waterman's Association That's Crab Basket Tree Lighting. the first annual one, and I'm the first guest. How about that? <laughs> and, awesome. and look, the wind calmed down the second you came up. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to talk a little bit about the shopping trail in Kenton Arrows. Yes. So what yeah. do you got going on? So we have a shopping trail that's throughout Queen Anne's County. It's got 34 sites that sell new um, gifts. So we're hoping that you pick up the trail map, which can be online through visitqueenanne's.com or through, um, you can stop at any one of the stores to start the trail. Start out at Kent Island, stop in Graysonville, have a bite to eat, and then head up to Centerville and go all the way up to Kingstown. And there's 34 different shops and our small local businesses really need your support this year. They need it all year long, but especially now. So please go out, shop local, shop small, and get some unique gifts for uh, the holiday season. That's right. And keep uh, watching our videos because we're highlighting yes. all the businesses and we're doing fun little videos. So you can check out the ones you want to see first and then go. Yeah, that's right. But go to a mall. Yeah, go to a mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to a mall. That's for so sure. So we're out here with the crab basket. You're taking a look at it, right? Yes. Hey, do you have a favorite basket? I have two favorite because I did two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which ones? Well, there's a county seal that I did on the other uh, side. Yes. And I do like the Grinch one that says 2020 stinks, dank, and stunk. <laughs> That's for sure one of my favorites. Right, I before, didn't do that one. But. Right. Before we let you go, uh -huh. favorite Christmas cookie? Uh, the peanut butter ones with the Hershey Kiss Ooh, on good the top. One. That's a good one. Yep. My uh, favorite. My two favorite. All right, favorite ever. Christmas movie? Um, it's a Wonderful Life. Wonderful. Classic. Yeah. You can't go wrong with the classic. No. The cookie in the movie. Yeah, right? All right. Well, thank you for stopping Yeah, thank by. you. Yeah, of thank course. you. Guys, we're going to be live here until we actually do the lighting at 530. We're going to have more special guests. Special guests. Yeah. yeah. But so stick with us. The tree lighting will be at 530. The ceremony for the tree lighting begins at 5. So this is kind of the pre-show. Pre-show. Pre We're the pre-show. Pre yeah, it's a pre-show. We're trying to get people in. So please like the video. Comment on the video. Tell us what your favorite basket share is. Share the video. Seen it. Yeah, and share the video so more people can know that we're down here. So, uh, hey, Chris, could you get uh, Linda for us? She just, yeah, Linda Friday. While we're waiting for Linda, yeah. Bruce, do you want to talk about um, some of the people that helped out with this basket? Yeah, yeah, tell tree. us. Who, this is pretty cool. Out? So, Bay Tree Services, uh, Delmarva Fishery Association. It looks like we've got Linda. Hey, hey Linda. Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. So, good. we're with Linda for the Chamber of Commerce. I know you guys are really busy right now, oh, right? Oh, yeah. We're very busy and very excited. Yeah. So yeah. tell us about your holiday season. What are you guys doing? So we are um, We're going to actually be doing a ugly sweater happy hour. Um, unfortunately, it's going to have to be virtual because right. of well, the so COVID. Right. Well, so many things are. Yeah, absolutely. So we're excited about that and uh, look forward to uh, seeing all the ugly sweaters on on Zoom. So, That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll look just as good virtually as they do in person. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so how about the tree? You're excited? Oh my gosh. What a blessing to this community for the watermen to be able to come out and offer this uh, to us. Um, the baskets, if you haven't been down to check them out, I would encourage you to come down and look at them. I actually came down this week and took a few pictures. Um, take a look at the chambers. We're celebrating our 40th anniversary and we have a basket on the tree celebrating our 40 years. That's very so exciting. So we're very, very excited. Yeah, but this yeah. tree is just I think it's just really good to bring the business community and the community at large together. Right. And this really shows it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, we're going to make you pick a basket and you can't pick your own. What's okay. your favorite basket? Um, oh gosh, they're all good. <laughs> Every one of them. You didn't tell me you were going to ask me that question. I know, that that's the trick. But um if I had to pick one, I would pick um I would pick the county government seal. 
Okay. Yay. Because they have been so supportive of the business community this year that I, I don't think we could we could ask for anything better. Right. Yeah. I believe Heather painted that one. Oh, did she? I think so. Oh, yeah. I think gosh. that's what she was just saying. Well, I didn't know she had that kind of talent. That's right. Yeah. Hidden Queen. talent. Hidden talent everywhere. In everywhere. County. Everywhere. All right. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? Oh my gosh, um, Ginger Snaps. Ginger, ginger snaps. snaps, they are my favorite. All right, favorite Christmas movie? Uh, White Christmas. What was it? White, White Christmas. Christmas. All right, another yep. classic. Yep. Great, great. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much for Yeah, and good luck to the chamber yeah. this yep. holiday season. Thank you. Yeah, yeah of course. All right, Manny, so tell us some so, more about uh, yeah, people that were involved. Yeah, some more businesses. So uh, we said Delmarva Power, right. um, John and Jean Duty, Fisherman's Inn. This is their lot. So yeah, they, yeah, we're right next they, to it. Yeah, yeah, they donate the lot. Um, Fishery Gate Graphic Design. Harris's Yacht Sales, TJ and Sherry Hunter, Kentmore Marina, Kentmore Restaurant and Crab House, Kent Narrows Foundation. There's a lot of people. It's a lot. Look, we're on there. Oh, QAC TV. QAC TV. Hey, Chris, while we're going on this, can we grab uh, Commissioner Corcorino? Queenstown Bank, Ruth Brothers Septic, Shore Lumber. I heard Shore Lumber donated all the lumber to build this. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, Shore Sign Company, Shore United Bank. Talbot Waterman's Association oh, yeah, 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 and the yeah, yeah. VFW yeah, Post. Oh, we're coming over right here. here. All right, they got uh, 7464. And it looks right. like we've right and Phil. Phil. Ra rounded up some commissioners That's here, great. Bruce. The, the more the barrier. The <laughs> we've got three commissioners. <laughs> it hey, 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 freezing. I'm blocked by the wind now. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. So, Thank guys, you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I got you. Are we already we're here, live so right now? Oh, shit, I don't oh, have my mask. Oh, you sing or something. Yeah, yeah. Little, 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 we got all these guys here just for you. Here we go. So, guys, we're standing in front of the crab basket tree. How excited are you for this to be the first year having this in Quance County? Very excited. This is amazing. Yep. It really is. Yep. The level of detail that has gone into some of these baskets. And a project that started off as a simple fundraiser that, that morphed into something more special with the community getting involved. Decorating the baskets and the awareness that is bringing the Queen Anne's County Water Business Association. We can't forget that they're the ones that spearheaded this whole yep. project. Right. And speaking of this amazing basketry that we see, I'm going to make you guys pick. What's your favorite? Oh, that one right there. <laughs> Did you build that? That, that, that one is that one. Came from and they happen to put your name on it too. <laughs> the Dumino family. The Dumino family made that one. Did, did you actually make this, or did you have someone else? Make uh, my it? daughter helped me. There oh, you nice. go. Okay. This is a family yep. effort. My daughter helped me. <laughs> All right, Commissioner Cocarina, favorite basket. Uh, mine is around the other side. It, it is the work boat with the reindeers carrying it through the air. So it's not the Dumino basket. No, yeah. although <laughs> that's probably my second favorite, third right, favorite up right. here. <laughs> my mom's would be my second favorite. There you go. All right, Chris Moran, favorite basket. I learned a long time ago, oh. and when <laughs> baseball starts, you had to go pick, what, what is it, Phil? The T-ball signs. The T-ball signs. They're all great. Yeah, there, I take there them all. You go, there you go. All right, guys, easier questions. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? Um, Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Uh, um, it has to be a Christmas cookie. It has to be a Christmas cookie. My wife's homemade Thin Mints. Homemade thin Mints? Thin mints. That's oh, awesome. thin mints. they sound amazing. All right, well, in my house, we make a lemon ricotta Italian Christmas book cookie, and it is fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Wow. How about favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, come on. You'll yeah. shoot, yes. you'll shoot <laughs> your eye out. <laughs> Christmas Story, right? That's right. right. You yeah. got Home Alone? You got Home Alone? No, I said, no, the Christmas Story. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm going to go with The Grinch. As a matter of fact, I was, we were just putting the lights on the Christmas tree and the, and the TV movie, The Grinch, with, um, what's his name, the crazy guy. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey playing it. That was on the TV when I left the company. So here. is that the version you would pick? That would be the version any? I picked. Okay, there Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. The Grinch. The Grinch. I like it. You you chose the home team here. <laughs> All right, guys, would you like to give a message to people watching for Queens County just about the holidays and what it means for the holidays and people, even though they have to stay safe at home and stay safe masked up? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I think you just said all that. Unfortunately. I mean, keep, keep remaining to be safe, social distancing, all those things. It still is important. Um, vaccines are coming, but we want everybody to stay safe through the holidays so you can enjoy the holidays with your loved ones. You know, do some great things. Like, you can, you can do social distancing and still drive around, look at the lights in your neighborhood. You can come by and check out the Christmas basketry here and do a lot of those fun, safe things. I think one of the most important things that we have to remember when we're Christmas shopping is make sure that we do our shopping at local businesses. Our small businesses here in the county are certainly the backbone uh, in our community. So shop local. Yes, yeah, shop and, local. 
And if you're making Christmas cookies with the family, it's all it's acceptable to drop some off at the Liberty Building for, for the commissioners. commissioners. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. It's this a tradition Tuesday in Queen Anne's County. A lot of people don't know about Tuesday. it, but it is a tradition. <laughs> all right, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yep. Enjoy the festivities in the crab basket tree. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, Mandy, I know uh, before we get started in the real show, we also have some people down below on the list. Yeah, so those are tree builders and helpers. So it couldn't be without these people that this happened. Um, Dennis Anthony, Billy Benton, Hi. Beverly Benton. We found Christopher we found Bartlett. Christopher. That's right, you keep going. Okay. We'll get the Christmas in a second. John Corsi, Missy Corsi, Phil, Commissioner Dumanel. Commissioner, yes. Brooke Horney, Joey Horney, Mike Ruth, Joey Sadler, Karen Sadler. The wind is really bad out here. The wind is brutal. It's cold. James Thomas, George Thomas Jr., Charles Thomas, Christy Wilkins, and Troy Wilkins. So, that's so many people. Yeah, so many people who came out the day of help build. A lot of work went into this tree. I know we got a couple more minutes before the actual show starts. That's what I was going to let you know. We yeah, have four minutes. Four, four minutes, minutes before, before the, show. the yep, actual yep, show yep. starts at five. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like, share, subscribe. The actual show will start at 5 tonight. The tree lighting will begin at 5.30 with a very special guest. Hey, Chris, come on back in here. So while we're waiting for the final countdown, let's talk about what our favorite stuff is. Because we're here. Our so favorite Mandy, basket? Chris, favorite basket. Favorite Pink basket. Flamingo. Right, so so Pink I flamingo. saw, I saw like first one, I, first thing I saw, Grinch. And then I was like, okay, that's my favorite. And then I saw another Grinch. And then I saw another Grinch. There's like four or five Grinches. There's four or five here. Grinches on here. So I had to choose between Grinches because I had to immediately eliminate the other favorite, which was Snoopy sitting on top of his doghouse. So I went, there's a Grinch that's mostly white with just the Grinch's face on it with a smile. That's the Grinch I went with, is my favorite one. I'm sorry, but I'm going to pull down this mask. He keeps blowing in my eyes. I can't see anything. Yes. All right. I, I, uh, oh, what I pick? It's bad. Oh, I, I like Santa with the Old Bay mask. Oh, that's oh, a good I didn't one. See that one. Yeah, Santa yeah, with the I, Old Bay mask one. is classic because I mean it's Old Bay, mm -hmm. so nothing nothing really says something better about Waterman in this good area. The good old Old Bay, and it reminds me of a great piece that me and you made. That's right. Where the we old tried Bay Old Bay on everything. Anything we could get our hands on, we tried Old Bay on. <laughs> yes. And I still say the best one we had was Old Bay on the Hershey's chocolate bar. Yes, that was yeah. probably what my a, favorite what a, one. What a shocker! Yeah, Old Bay on chocolate. Yep. Yeah. Very Old good. Bay on a Hershey's chocolate bar. Delicious. How are we looking at time, Chris? We're looking at time. We were probably looking at about three minutes, three minutes coming up before right. we get our first. Hey, our favorite Christmas cookies, guys. We don't talk about ours enough. I, you know what? My favorite Christmas cookies are are, are are the ones, they're like the shortbread cookie. So they're not a sugar cookie. It's like a shortbread cookie with a little uh, icing with the sprinkles on top. But those, those hey, are my favorite Christmas cookies. There you go. Yep. So mine, I don't know what they're called, but my aunt makes them and they're real, real out real flat and thin and they have like a paste inside that has fig and uh dates Ooh. and and they're amazing that's a and lot of stuff thin? they're real that's so thin Is it and there's a top cookie and then a spread and stuff and then a bottom cookie all right there you go that sounds like a christmas what about you, christmas Bruce? potato chip sandwich a christmas potato chip sandwich <laughs> I, I don't know i mean i i don't I don't know, I'm going to go with probably peanut butter with the Hershey Kiss. Yeah, that's a good one. Just because I don't have them ever. So it's I like, only during Christmas. Yeah, I really I like them. fudge at Christmas. Fudge at Christmas, that's cool. Well, that's like, something besides cookies. That's like me with turkey. I get blown away. That's like this me with turkey. Brutal. I don't even like turkey this time of year. I like to eat turkey in like May. I like to eat turkey in like between Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas. We do have a few that's more shout outs. Turkey. We do have a few more shout outs? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We shout got some out. shout outs to Fisherman's Inn and the Schultz family for allowing the tree to be placed on the property. Harrison's yacht sales for the use of electricity. One, which is very key. Yeah. To lighting Shore a tree. Lumber and Millworks for donating all the building materials I was mentioning. Which is very key for building the tree. <laughs> Delmarva Power for the pole. The pole. The Again. BFW key. Post key. 7464 for allowing the use of the facility to drop off and pick up baskets. Yes, yeah, 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 that's great. Shore sign <laughs> donated easy, the sign easy. behind Care. us. <laughs> And uh, Fish, Fisher Gate graphics designs for the signs. Again, QAC TV, they love us. Brooke Horney Who and love us? Joe, I know. And Joey <laughs> and Karen Sadler. Again, big thank yous to everyone yeah, for everyone. making this possible. So guys, we're about to start the real show at five. Thanks again for watching. Please let us know down below in the comments, what is your favorite cookie? What's your favorite Christmas movie? And what's your favorite basket that you can see? I know you might not be able to see them all right now, but maybe you visit it. If you haven't visited, 
make sure you visit. The tree's gonna be up, thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. The tree's gonna be up from now until January, so you have plenty of time to come see the tree light lit. And it's gonna be a fantastic addition to the Narrows area, this tree. It's cool. Yeah. First Class. one ever. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Well, first one ever here. Well, I was saying, but still, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, very gorgeous. Look at yeah. all the artwork. The artwork. Yeah, it looks great. You guys great. stop by and take a look at it because it's fantastic. Yeah, I can't even begin to explain how much time people put yeah. into these baskets. There really is. A lot of work, a lot of work. So, but yeah, we're at five o'clock though. We're Come at five. Me. Okay, so let's start the official show. Welcome to the Queens County Watermen's Association Basket Tree Lighting Celebration 2020. Woo! 2020. 2020, the celebration. So guys, we are all gathered here. We want to spend a very special thank you, a very special thank you to the Watermen's Association because that's why this tree's here. So obviously in Queens County, that's what we want to celebrate. Yes. It's our watermen who do so much for our county, so much for the people around. And this is a way to pay back homage to them. Yeah, yeah what a yeah. cool idea. So uh, we welcome you to the show. Uh, the Watermen worked in tandem with community members, businesses, local organizations to create this unique tree. And we're broadcasting live from the Narrows. We're right at the corner at Wells Cove Road. And we're right near the jetty. So you know where we're at. We're going to be here, like I said, till January with this tree. We're going to be here tonight till 5.30. 5.30, we have a very special guest coming to light our yeah, tree. Yeah, I, I heard. Yeah, he's he, coming. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming very from very special, very far away. Yeah, he flew in. I, I, he was brought here on a water a work boat. Oh, wor yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was brought, he was brought here on a work boat. So we have some very special guests that we want to talk to this evening. First, we're going to talk with Troy Wilkins. He's the Queen Anne's County Watermen's Association president. There you go, sir. You stand right here, right there. Here you go. Welcome, Mr. Wilkins. How you doing? Man, doing great, buddy. Doing great. So tell us good. about your tree. Huh? Tell us about your tree. Well, I guess one of the main things about a tree is just everyone, everyone in the community helped from from uh, contractors to the watermen to the public it's just been it's been great it's just been a community effort right yeah I mean, you've had people from everywhere come in not only to watch it but to help build it and to help paint it exactly exactly <laughs> every i mean every basket is original you know every every person's um personality is put on the basket right and and the guys to help build it it's, it's just been unbelievable really really so, can you tell us a little bit about the association well, the association is uh, pretty much all watermen. You know, the county commissioners attend. Um, and, and we, uh, I guess we kind of look out for the waters in Queen Anne's County. Which is very important. Very important. Very important <laughs> to us. That's our livelihood. Right. So, uh, you know, um, money we raise, we, uh, we uh, do oyster restoration, different areas in, the, in, in Queen Anne County waters. And, uh, and we try to protect everyone's right to to be able to use the water in Queen Anne's County. Right. Because right, right. it belongs to everybody, not just us. That's right. So can you tell us what your favorite basket is? I'm putting you on the spot. Very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Right here. This one right here. That one. That's your favorite. That's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's been pushing out everyone that's come up. I know. I, he didn't pay me enough. <laughs> it's nice. To, I, I can't say that I got a personal favorite. Um, I think they're all original in their own way, and they all mean something different to everybody here. Right. Yeah, they all have a in, personal in the community, touch. And right now, the community needs that. Yes, yeah, oh yeah, more than ever. More than That's ever. That's right. So can you tell us about how this project got started? Uh, well, I guess last year, Joey Sadler and Karen right. Sadler. Who we're gonna be talking to soon. Yes, you'll be talking to them. Um, they brought it to the association. Joey's a member, Joey's right. a waterman. So they brought it, and it was kind of late in the year, so we, it didn't really get any traction to get going. So this year, them two and some help from some other uh, wives of the association right. got it started. And, and here we are, you know, it's like, it's, it's just been unbelievable. Right, yeah, yeah. Now, we've been asking everyone Christmas questions, so we gotta get yours. Yeah, hit me. What's your favorite Christmas cookie of all time? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> all the cookies. We should ask him though. We've never asked this since we always ask the cookie question, but yeah. we've never asked a waterman what's their favorite seafood. Oh, that's so good. Favorite seafood. Because they work the water, so they. Yeah, you like, know better than all of us. I, I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big guy, I like it all. I, I, when you go out to the restaurant though, what are you ordering? He looks like a steak I, and potato guy. I think guy. I'm going to pass on that, <laughs> on the answer to that, because I see seafood every day. Yeah. 
So I'm going to get steak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. All right, how about favorite Christmas movie? Favorite Christmas. Um, it's got to be Toy Story. Don't oh, shoot your eye out. Yeah, 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 there you go. All right, so classics have been picked all throughout. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to say to our community or about the crab basket tree before we let you off the hook and we'll let you enjoy the evening? Yeah, I just want to say that um, how much we appreciate the community's help on this project. I mean, it, it wasn't just the Waterman's Association. It's just been so many businesses that helped get this going. And it's, it's really been it's really been fun to do. Not that I really did a whole lot in it, but the construction, um, selling the baskets, the people painting the baskets, it's it's really been it's been a it's been great. It's really been great. I mean it, it kind of goes along with a crayfish that we have every year that we weren't able to have this year. But the same thing there. You know, the community comes out and helps us every year. So, you know, I just want to thank the community and uh Everyone has helped with this project, really. That's right. Well, thank you. Merry Christmas to you and the association. We hope you have a great holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas to you guys, too, right. and thank everyone, you. too. Yeah, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So next, we're going to bring up Joey Sadler. Mr. Joey Sadler. Mr. Joey Sadler. Captain Joey Sadler. Captain. He's a waterman, they told waterman. us. Yes. Waterman. And his wife, Miss Karen. What are you, cold? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's very cold out. Yes, it is. Just a little bit. Yeah, just Hi, a little bit. How are we doing? Good, Captain great. Joe. Thank you for joining us up here. How are you? Thanks for having yeah, us. Doing Captain wonderful. Joey Sadler and my wife, Karen. So, Joey and Karen, yeah. <laughs> could you please tell us what your association with the Crab Basket Tree and the association is? Well, it was her idea. We, we copied this off Rock Hall. We went to Rock Halls a couple years ago, and she got inspired by it, and she said, let's do something for the county. Let's go to the Waterman Association and see what we can do. And to get the ball rolling and it just fell into place this year and th this is where we're at and actually christy and um brooke really helped a lot too big time <laughs> yeah there's so many people they were the brains behind work. it a little bit more right right, <laughs> right it, was, it was karen and myself <laughs> yeah and and brooke Orney and, and christy. christy wilkins they're so, the four main ones we went to heather tonelli and gg right yeah, so many we people that helped, going. but we now know that Karen, you're the brains behind the operation. She's the brains behind it. And you're the muscle. Uh, well, He's part of it. <laughs> oh, no, we, we had a lot of help. You know, that, that was a big thing. You know, all the watermen stepped in and, uh, from the community and helped us build this last Saturday. I mean, what you see here is is everybody's life, you know, kind of in a basket. Every basket has its own personal story to it. Right. So. Yeah, I, I do want to point out, I know we can see at the top of the shop, but we also have these baskets with the hearts on them. Yeah. yeah. That's Could you cool. tell us what those are? Those are the ones we've lost in the late the last year, right. the watermen that we watermen lost. they've lost right. in the last year. So, right. so what a cool there. tribute! What a cool way to pay tribute. So, is there a future for the crab baskets? Are we going to have like four or five of them next year? We are going to keep on going with this. <laughs> right. See we're, how it goes. <laughs> we're, we're already being asked about next year about you know selling baskets for next year. Already, yeah, so I'm people sure. can get a head start on painting them. So, right. right. So next year, would these baskets be included, or are you going to start? completely over well we're going to try to give them back to you but we can't guarantee it because we really did have to put this together really good right right <laughs> you can see as the wind as wind funnels through here yeah so we have to put it up very strong so we're going to try not to damage them sure keep keep it to a, as least as possible damage to give them back to the customers or the people that bought them so, so how many baskets are on here 202 202 and i believe originally you had asked for 200 right, right. So you, you just went a little bit above the quota. Just a little bit above. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. And we could have sold another another hundred, Probably I think. Could. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah people were That's great. coming in once they once they seen it on Facebook, once they seen it on social media, once they figured out what everything was, it just exploded from there. Right. I'm quite sure it's gonna go really well next year. Once everybody's seen what we did this year. They, right. Because they didn't know some people didn't know about it until we were putting the tree up. Sure, sure. So I think it's going to be a lot more next year. Looking for it. So just look up for at Queen Anne's County Watermen Association, and they they will have the information all on there. Yeah, too. yeah. You go right to their Facebook. Right to their Facebook yeah, that's page. That's easy information. I know most they keep all that up to date. Right yep. Uh, so we got to thank a lot of people from from the ladies right on down that helped help paint the baskets because not all of them were painted by an individual. Some of them were painted. Uh, Bev Benton was another big one that should be included in there. She, she painted a lot of them, so because uh -huh. you could purchase the basket and take it home and paint it your own stuff, or you could you could purchase the basket and have us paint it for you right, with whatever right. yeah, you wanted I did on see it. That. So, 
So next year we're going to get a QAC TV basket. Yes, yep. there, there you go. go. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just take out a whole row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll be we'll be lighting it here shortly. Uh, I think uh, I think we're going to have Santa Claus coming at the end, and uh, yeah. Pastor Bobby Timms and and uh, uh, Mr. Lynch are going to be reading some names off of, of the the remembrance the, the nice. right from this year. So. We, got some more things to go through here tonight so we're looking forward to seeing it all here that's right and before i let you off the hook i'm going to put you on the spot favorite basket or mine favorite... <laughs> it's around the corner what's which the... one is it it's the one with the santa claus it says more dad's bedford it's my dad oh okay, okay. nice so it's a memorial basket. yeah it's a yeah. memorial my and the, dad and the okay. one next to it is, is my mom and dad's that we had painted by sarah dad smith she painted both of them uh, my dad always said, that, you know, old sea captains or old watermen were seagulls, so he was going to come back as a seagull. So there's a seagull oh, nice. angel in the basket, and my mom, she loved angels, so she was on there as an angel. So that's wonderful. That's, that's beautiful. That's cool. That's great. So guys, an easy question: What's your favorite cookie? Christmas time. Christmas cookie. Well, I'm, I'm going to go by Troy, and I'm going to say all of them. All of them. <laughs> Chocolate chip. Chocolate, classic chocolate chip. Right. It's good all year round. All, it's good year, all round. year round. How about your favorite Christmas movie? Toy Story. No, no um, the Christmas Story. Christmas, Christmas Story. Story. Christmas Story. Did you try out, Ralphie? Yeah. yeah. Are you doubling down on that? <laughs> yeah, right. I've got to stick with her, yes. Okay, it's, it's smart. She's the brains, remember? Right. You got to stick right. with her. How about your question? We got to know. Yeah, so we've asked all these cookie questions, but as a waterman, what's your favorite seafood? My favorite, it's got to be seafood. That's kind of tough one there because I, I kind of like everything as you can tell, but right. I, I like all seafood. What makes but, you the money? <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Well, rockfish. I'm not, I'm not yeah, rockfish. Okay. That's my favorite. <laughs> Although I've as tried. Charter capital, I have to say rockfish. Halibut, not that long ago, and it's probably a close running with rockfish. Yeah, but there's no halibut here in the bay, so you right. can't say that. So, so you, got, you got to say rockfish. Okay, <laughs> so I'll stay Eastern Shore. Stay short, local, stay yeah. Rockfish. Right. Come on, Rudolph. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Very you. Much for thank, us and thank, thank you, everyone. Yeah, of course. Thank you. So, very well, yeah, all we got lights. I can't see much anymore. Chris, how are we doing on time? Welcome in, Chris. Time. Right now, we are sitting at, uh, oh, what was I going? Oh, someone is it? 512. 512. 512. Okay, we're, we're rolling along. Yeah, rolling Remember, we're going to roll along until 530 this evening when our special guest, who they, who the Saddlers drop now so we can talk about it, is, is Santa. He's, he's got oh, a fire truck. I love him! <laughs> I, I hear he's big this time of year. I Very heard, popular. Yeah, 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 like I heard he's kind of like, you know, in now, the in crowd. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he's the thing to talk about. <laughs> so we're, we still talk about this tree, but yeah, I have yeah, some yeah, things I want to mention. We got some more facts. Um, so these baskets represent, like they were saying, the county's history, including iconic white work boots, local families, historic family businesses, work boats, lighthouses, as well as snowmen and waterfowl and crabs and fish and scenes from the Grinch and Charlie Brown and so much more. But there's a basket on this tree and we really need to find that basket. It says it's in honor of Captain Warren Butler, the oldest active waterman in Queen Anne's County. He's 91. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's something they wanted to give a little shout out to because that's, I mean, definitely you see watermen, you know, there's, it's usually generations of generations yeah, right, right, right. Um, that have been working the water. And it's an art. I mean, it's a trade that not everyone can do. They know, you know, I don't know if you've ever been fishing, but you get a good waterman, they can put you right on the fish. Yeah, they, oh, like, they know it. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah the, the, the the skill in being a waterman Unbelievable. is so vastly underrated. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's definitely a knack. So speaking of watermen, speaking of seafood, Chris, you're a waterman. Yeah, what's your favorite seafood, Chris? What's your favorite seafood, Chris? Uh, that would be um, uh, bumblebee tuna out of the can <laughs> that I mix with my own, uh, uh, with, with Miracle Whip, and that's the only seafood I'll ever viewers. eat. Chris doesn't eat That's seafood. That's right. You heard it here, folks. First. He is not from the Eastern right, Chris, Shore. You, we don't you know where we got it. Here now. See if you can find a couple people. We'll bring up here and see if they can tell us what their favorite basket is. Anyone that's around. We gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to go. Yeah. yeah, you go around some people. Up. Circle. So I'm so glad people could join us today. Yeah, this it's is so fun. I hope here. they're enjoying our so, show. So Whether you're, warm you're where home. you should be. Yeah, you're warm. Yeah. We're not warm. We're yeah. cold. And you can come by and see the tree lit tomorrow night. When it's going to be 60. Yeah, when it's going to be 60. But this tree will be up all the way through to January, so you have plenty of time to come see come the tree. Come get your picture with it. Yeah, come get your picture with the tree. It'll be lit up every night. It's going to be here. Very exciting. I can't wait to see it lit up because we don't know what it looks like yet. 
No, we haven't seen it. I can't see, but they have lights all around it. This magic box. Here we go. Who we got? Oh, we found we somebody. How you doing? Good, sir. Introduce yourself. I'm James Thomas, Queen Hi, of Standing Waterman. Oh, great, great, great. So, James, we wanted to bring you up because we have so many people. We wanted to talk about what's this tree mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, I actually was one of the ones to the top of it constructing it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Great. I mean, it, this is part of our heritage. It runs deep in a lot of the families that are on this basket. Right. I mean, there's the Corsis, the Thomases, the Aarons. I mean, it's a lot of families that, you know, our families all go back way, way, way back generations. And the kids all grew up together. All the families, I mean, we're still pretty close-knit. Right, right, right. We're a family. That's great. Yeah, we were just talking about that, how deep, you know, families go back in this area and everyone, you know, being friends and everyone knowing each other. So it's great to have a tree that has remembrance and names on it. It's a really beautiful sight to see. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to put you on the spot. All right. Favorite basket on the tree? I mean, half be mine. <laughs> so which there one's you go, yours? right? Oh, it's right, actually right here. Which it's one? Is, oh, what's on it? It's got a clam rig on the side of it. There you go. All right. Favorite Christmas cookie? All the ones my wife makes. Good answer. Man, you were on Good it. Good answer. What does she make? Points. That's uh, points for him. She makes snickerdoodles, uh, the peanut butter with the chocolate in the middle, sugar cookies, and she makes this cookie that I have to sneak because she won't let nobody else have it. So. I'm interrupt. If it wasn't for this man right here and George Thomas Jr., this thing wouldn't be here today. Thank you, James. Oh, you, that's a good yeah. shout out right there. Yeah, well, me and my cousin both were to the top of it. Was that George? Yeah, is that George okay. is my cousin, yeah. We both, I mean, literally, I got inside and went all the way up through the middle of it, all the way to the top, and we, I come down around the outside of it with the lights. Oh, nice. That's awesome, that's awesome. So next year, will we get like 400 baskets? Are you going to go even higher? I'll go to the top. <laughs> there we go. All right, Mandy, your question. So we've asked everybody their favorite cookie and all, but the Waterman, what's your favorite seafood? My favorite seafood? <laughs> clams, because that's what clams. I do. Oh, see the, what makes them the money? That's see, the answer. I mean, I love clams. Uh, clams are, I mean, you can't go wrong with a rockfish filet. I know, rockfish is so good. Yep. How do you like your rockfish cooked? That's the other question. I like taking and cutting them into nuggets and deep frying them. Ooh. Rockfish oh, nuggets are good. I've never done that. Oh, they're good. Yeah. I'm, I, I I'm to get a broiler, but I like rockfish nuggets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm uneducated when it comes to <laughs> making rockfish, apparently. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, not, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you, guys. Us. Appreciate you all coming out and doing this for yeah, us and, and helping us, you know, light this tree. Thank now, you, guys. Now, before I let you go, too, uh, is your wife here or is she safe at home She's watching? She's over there. All right, so make sure she watches back so she hears her shout out later. Yes. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks <laughs> thank for joining us, buddy. <laughs> So I think, well, so, up, all right, hey, how's it? coming up on like f about uh, yeah, 518, yep. Five, yeah, is it too cold? Is your watch freezing up? Yeah, I think so, yeah, <laughs> it was like my screen. It was like, there yeah, it we're is. Gonna bring, we're going to bring up a second. I do want to say that my favorite while we're waiting are oysters. No one said oysters. Oysters, but how do you like your oysters? Oh, raw. Raw. Wait, yeah, favorite yeah. cookie? See, I like oysters. Rock of yeah, yeah, oysters? I like oyster cookies. You said oyster you like the Hershey cookies. Kiss on the cookie. What is we're it, oyster on the cookie? Seafood. Seafood. Ow. Okay. My favorite cookie is oyster crackers. I was like, whoa, that is like experimental. <laughs> I mean, raw oysters. I love raw oysters. That's some like Soho thing in New York. It's like, would you like a little oyster cookie? It's like, what? Get, all right, you, you, get out of here. All right, no, no, you, no. You, you go right up our pastor for us. Our next yes, two yes, guests, yes, yes. I'm going to introduce guest. them. Yeah, thank you, Chris. So every basket has a story of remembrance, honor, celebration, history, or holiday spirit. Tonight, the Waterman's Association honors watermen and women past and active, and those who passed away in 2020 with a row of baskets painted with the red heart that we've all talked about. Yes. And today we also have joining us, it's Pastor Bobby Timms and Captain Buck Lynch. Guys, thank you so much for coming out here. You're welcome, Rob. No <laughs> We're glad to be here. Yeah, before I let you get into uh, the speeches and all that, I just want to ask, what's it like to have this tree here? And what's it mean to you guys to see it erected here in Queens County? Go ahead, Buck. Well, it's, it's really a blessing to have, um, to be able to see some of the people that we love, you know, represented here that have been on the water and, and family members that have passed away. It's just a great honor for Queen Anne's County to do something beautiful like this. Amen. I, I was thinking about, uh, as we all know, just about everybody here and a lot of them have gone on to, to, to be with our Heavenly Father. But I was thinking about some of the stories. <laughs> 
I said, some of them could probably be told in public. It's yes. Some, it's half of them might be true. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a typical water life, you know what I mean? Yes. So, and some of them can't be told in public. Some of them will never be told <laughs> yeah, we'll in public. We'll see that for when we cut. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But it, it, is a, it is an actual blessing and to see the community come together. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't we need some positive things? Absolutely. Oh, yes. More now than ever. This is truly like Captain Buck said, this is a blessing. And we are both, I know we're honored, my wife Kathy and I are yes. honored, honored to be part of this. And, part of our heritage. This is our heritage. Yes, it is. Beautifully said. And guys, I know you both have something prepared that you would yep. like to, to say. Yeah, we do. We have, do uh, you want us to read the names now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So um, these are the names of our, our friends, our, our brothers. There's one lady on here of who passed away in the last year. They were watermen or associated with the water business. So um, the first name is my dad who just died in October, Captain Bobby Timms. The second name is Brother Collier. Don Tryon, Ronnie Gold, Captain Bobby Aaron, <laughs> Mr. Stephen Ruth, and my uncle Jimmy Timms, my father's brother, and Miss Jeannie Ringle from Dan Dominion, the soft grave lady most people probably know her as. Yes. And Bobby. I'd like to honor uh, Ed, Eddie Hoxter, Jimmy Glenn, Herman H Hardesty, Wendell Corn Heath, Raymond Shanks, Daniel Ford, and Leon Allen. And I prepared a little something I, I just wrote. Yeah. I was sitting home in my office and I, was, I thought about some things that I wanted to say. So I'm going to take a moment and just read these things I wrote down. It was predicted in 1994 that in 10 to 15 years, Orsman would be extinct in the Chesapeake Bay. Yes, we struggle with diminishing harvests pollution, and political indifference. But we have stayed strong against all opposition. I am a third generation waterman and believe water blow flows in our veins. Those, excuse me, it's hard to read it. Those of us who are represented here, whether alive or have passed away, can, cannot see us doing anything else but what we have done. For a waterman, then to, to see fish dangling from a, a fishing hook, or seeing the sunrise and making a booming lick of oysters, or a crab floating with its partner in the Chesapeake Bay, or an eel pot charged with full of eels. Last but not least, Claim clams coming up the elevation from the bottom. God himself provides this type of harvest. Yes, we can take no credit for what he has done. Yes, but we are thankful for what he has provided for us. I leave this with you. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God has in store for us as watermen. Amen. 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 That was beautiful. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you. And a rounding uh, <laughs> applause yeah. for everyone Amen. around the area about the beautiful words. I had, um, yeah. I had wrote a couple things, but I'm just just a thought. You asked earlier, you asked James his favorite basket. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you, too. Well, there's one around here that's got my dad's boat on it. There's friends, loved ones that have gone. But my very favorite basket, there's a black one right up there. Yes. And it says, one saved all. Yes. And we've just read these names and we think of the families that mourn. My family's still mourning the loss of my dad, my uncle. And these families that mourn, but it's Christmas time. And I hope we don't lose focus on what Christmas is truly really about. Because of the one that saved all, I know this is not the end of our journey with Amen. our brothers and sisters. Yeah. They've transformed to somewhere else that's perfect, not like here. One day we'll be seeing them again, and it's all because of Christ and our faith in Him. And at that, they had asked me to do a blessing of the fleet, yes. which I hope becomes an annual thing for us to do. And um, I'm honored that, that Captain Buck and I get to stay in here. Yes. So I would just ask you to receive this as kind of a prayer. God Almighty, Creator of all things, we humbly seek your blessing upon the men and women that make their living on this wonderful water that surrounds us. We ask you that you grant safe passage to every boat and every crew as they seek the bounty that you alone supply for them. May you cause our hearts to give you thanks in the good times and in the not so good times. 
God, we ask ask blessings upon the families of all those that are part of the struggle to carve out a life on these waters of the bay. Bless the business people that are also part of your plan to grow and prosper these men and women. Father, we ask favor in the halls of government where decisions are made that deeply affect these watermen. We ask you to bring forth people, leaders, politicians, yes. who will consider all things in their decisions. And we ask favor upon our heritage and our traditions. We ask you for your healing touch upon the waters of the bay that the abundance of resources will be miraculously restored and we would give you all the glory lord yes and lord we give you thanks for those who have who have taught among us and along this way have mentored us and they now rest in peace or in the labors we praise you and thank you for jesus that in him we may find our salvation and hope in this life and we can live it well and enter into the next life perfectly and holy spirit we thank you for stirring the hearts of the folks involved in having the vision to bring this here tonight. We thank you for all those who have heard that vision and they put their talents to work to bring this vision to reality for all of us to see and join it. May all the honor and glory be yours, O Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we ask these things and we offer our hearts and our praise to you tonight. Amen and amen. 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 Thank amen. you guys so Thank much. You. Before yeah. I let you go, though, oh. before I let you go, because I know we have our special guest that's about to come. Absolutely. But, Kevin, you didn't say what your favorite basket was. It's around the corner there. Okay. Which one are we? It's the gray one around there. I get light blue. Okay. Yep. And what's on there? My daughter and my brother, Larry Lynch. Oh, All right. Nice. There you go. Very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, yes. Bless. Thank you so much. Very God bless. You. Very but I really had two. Okay. <laughs> Another one here with my father's name on it, my uncle and my, uh, my two uncles right here. Nice. Of the Lynch, Strawberry, Baby Jack, and Ronald. There you go. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you guys very much. Well, it's about that time. What an awesome! So many memories on this tree. Yeah, and you see, it means a lot to everyone. It does. Yeah. It means more than just holidays. It means more than just crab basket tree lighting. Well, what a representation of the watermen yeah. of Queen Anne's County. Yeah, their families, their friends, yeah. the watermen, people that they miss, and everyone that's still doing it because people have contributed. Definitely. So thank you to the so, people of the area. So Chris is back. Well, Welcome I'm back, just, Chris. Just, hi. Hi. I was just coming back to um, Timekeeper. Oh, yes. it, it, actually, it's not as cold now. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. The watch cool. works. So what it's time, time is it? It's 527. 527. 527. At 530 is official lighting. So any minute so, now, so, we could have a special guest. So any Santa minute, we could have a fire truck arrive. He came on work boat, though. He came, he came on a work, on work boat. boat. But the fire truck came and got him off the work boat. That's very kind of them. I know. It's very nice. Where were you, Rudolph? Aren't you supposed to be helping with this? Yeah. Well, he, he he waved to me when he went by. <laughs> I was he did. helping. I, saw. I know, George. I saw. Yeah, I, I was saw. helping George, uh, uh, and, uh, but he waved to uh, me. Uh, uh, uh. I hear Wait, something. I hear I hear some sirens. I hear a revving. A revving of a siren. Yep. I hear Which something. really mean one thing. Only one thing. Something. Christmas. Oh, I see the lights. Something is coming. So something. We know uh, what's wait, coming. Yep, is there it something? is. There it is. I see it. Oh, here, oh, we, here go. we go. And look, and, and he's brought a guest. Who's he got? Mrs. Claus. Oh, she came out. Mrs. Claus is with Santa. Oh, there you go. And he's arriving the only way you can on Ken Island on a fire truck. Right. But per boat, he came by boat now, fire truck. I was going to say, I was like, wait a minute, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. a boat would help. He, he got the boat started in here. I mean, the north, the only way to get from but the north pole is, is by water. Anyway. Now, they look yeah, really say, warm. Yeah. They look warm. They do look warm. They look warmer than we but do. But he's used to cold, though. He's yes, from the right. north pole. That's right. All right, I want to try to get some water. So cold weather doesn't bother Santa. Looks like he got a ride on the Graysonville volunteer fire company fire truck that was nice of them to pick santa up yeah it's great because we we got the highlight you know, some of centerville's finest last night we did now so we get to honor some of our little shout out to graysonville today. yeah it's santa with the white boots he's he's no got doubt. those are eastern shore tennis shoes yeah, yeah. Ho, 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 merry christmas here he is the man in the red suit santa himself this is great. We, Come on up, Santa. We definitely, he's got shiny white boots on. You too. do. I'm you impressed. got the, you're styling. Come on over here. I love the boots. You're looking good, Santa. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a mic right over here for you, Santa. We can hear. Mrs. Claus, come on in. 
Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so we give a shout out to Queen's County tonight from Santa and Mrs. Claus. Merry Christmas, Queen Anne's County. <laughs> so Thanks Santa. for all the watermen coming out. This is yes. a great event. And you guys are here for a very special occasion. Yes. You're here to light our tree. Yep. All there right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so Santa, before we let you light the tree, okay, I know you just arrived, but do you see a basket that's your favorite? One that sticks out to you? Um, around the front. Right on the front? front? Yep. Which one's that? It's in memory of his father. Oh, All right. nice. There you go. So and nice. What? Because this is a very popular question, especially for you, Santa. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? Santa Art doesn't meal. turn down cookies. <laughs> oatmeal. Oatmeal. Kids, do you hear the that? The secret's out. Leave out oatmeal this year if you want better gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, would you like to say anything about the community, or should we just light this tree? Turn on the light. <laughs> turn on the light. So it looks lights. like. All right. We got a countdown. We got a countdown. They're gonna. Are they gonna count down with us? I, I think we're gonna get everyone to count down. Everyone to count down. So we're gonna count down from ten. <laughs> we gotta get Santa over by the candy, candy, candy cane. cane. Okay. And I think it, when we get down, it's going to slide over close to us. The candy cane will slide this way. All right, everybody, can we count down from 10? 10, 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we are! What a magnificent tree! It looks so great! <laughs> now we can see all the all, all the baskets people talked about. Yes. Beautiful. So guys, thank you so much for joining us. Santa, Mrs. Claus, thank you so much for coming thank out. You. I know you have so many people that want to talk to you, take pictures and have fun. Oh, I'm so sure. I'll let you guys go do that. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh. Thank you. Of course. Uh-oh. It's no, don't worry, I called it in time. I was going to say, that, oh, that was very quick. Called it in time, I'm we quick. We saved Christmas like last night, like now a, we saved like the tree tonight. We got, yeah, 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 we got it, yeah, 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 yeah. we got it, that's that Santa delay. magic. That was good. So guys, thank you so much for joining our live feed tonight as we lit the tree. Yes. Again, in remembrance of so many watermen, in remembrance of the great work, the great families that are in our area. And now that we've had the tree lit and you've been here and you're cold, support the local businesses. Yes. Go pick up dining and carry out and to go. And, yes. You know, yes. that's the local. Yeah. Visit the sure. Narrows. Yeah. The Narrows have their own shopping guide. You can get gift cards to all the local restaurants while you're out looking at the tree. Stop by all the stores. Have a very safe holiday. But come enjoy this tree. Again, it's going to be up through January. Let us know in the comments what your favorite basket is now that you can see it a little bit more. Let us know what your favorite cookie is. I want to give a very, very special shout out to the Queen Anne's County Waterman's Association. They're the reason we're here. They're the reason there's a tree. And we got to meet so many of them tonight. We had a great time. Many thanks to them. Yes, definitely. And yeah. I think it's time for us to get a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Yeah, we should get some hot chocolate. Yes. You come out and see the tree now. We're going to see you guys next time. We want to thank you again. Share, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Sailors. Eat seafood.